So guys, hi. Yes, it is exactly what it sounds like. It is a Vans update. You know who you wanted one, didn't you? It's something I've been thinking about for a little while. I watch a lot of channels on YouTube, mainly watches and cars. The garage ones or the car ones, they tend to come sometimes go around and show you their updates and what they've got and what they've added or what they haven't added or what's still there and so on and so forth. Um, I'll link one that I watch High Peak down below and maybe some other things. I do watch some watch videos and some other bits and bobs every now and then. But I thought, as it's been a while, and I've got 17 pairs of vans, I needed to do a bit of an update on them. And there's also another reason why, and I'll show you that as well. And yes, you did hear that right, 17 currently. But they're not all worn at the same time, and they're not all out. And when I mean by out, there is one pair that I've never worn that's still in the loft, which is the Super Mario Nintendo edition. That's in in the loft, a full set in the box. Um, I was going to wear them, and I keep thinking I'm going to wear them at some point, but for some reason I haven't got round to it. They are quite valuable-ish, not loads of money, but they're worth more than what I paid for them. But I don't know, I might wear them at some point. Most of the others do get worn, apart from a couple of pairs. Now, I've got the boots, which in this time of year, summer, not really summer shoes, so the boots tend to be not worn at the moment. I've got five pairs of those. The others are all mainly lace-up shoes apart from two pairs of slip-ons and my theory is i do want to update the collection gonna do what? and get some more slip-ons because i haven't got enough pairs i think i really want some more um but i've also got to change and get rid of a couple of pairs one of the things i did mention about the vyn shoes i got last year which was the ones with the changeable heels i did say then that the other shoes wear away on the heel and that's exactly what's happened with the vans now i drive so i wear them in the car so this pair which is quite a nice pair. I quite like this pair. It's an unusual and strange design with the net over the green. This one is the left foot. Doesn't seem quite so bad. But the right foot, as you can see, it's just, it's, it's wearing away. And unfortunately, that means realistically, I'm going to have to bin these. So these are going to get unfortunately either donated. I don't think there'll be much use to anybody if they're donated, but they are going these are sort of, a, or maybe just the tall shoes, maybe to keep them in the car just for mucking about in or something. But unfortunately, I can't really keep these now. Same goes for another pair. There's another pair I did show you once before, a pair I bought last year. When they were advertised, the person who advertised them mixed up the USA and the English sizing. So they said they were UK size 8, when in fact they were USA size or America size 8, which is actually UK size 7. The UK size for all my other shoes is eight. The American size is nine. So I got these, which are lovely. I really, really, really like these. I would like to get another pair in the right size because these ones just don't fit me. I never change the laces on these, which you know I change the laces on all my shoes. Never change the laces on these because they look really good with the white, but they don't fit me. So I was gonna decide now that I'm gonna give them away. The thing is, I can't really give them away to the family. I was gonna give them away to my son, um, but my oldest son, who's 13, has now got exactly the same size feet as me. He's got size 8, which means that at some point he's going to grow much bigger. He will have much bigger feet than me. He'll probably end up as 11 or 12, something like that. His brother has got smaller feet, not quite big enough for these. So I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. I haven't come to that. There are shoes I want to get. As I said, there's more slip-ons. There's a few pairs that I like the look of, the thermo ones, the bugs and some of the other colours, the shiny ones, and they do do a version of these in a slip-on as well, as far as I know. So I am looking at more slip-on versions and something to replace those. I've still got my eye on other things like the Haribo ones. They're really nice. I like the look of those. I like the look of the Cookie Monster ones and the ones from Sesame Street. And I still want to get some of the Nightmare Before Christmas ones. So I've got the Nightmare Before Christmas boots, but I would like to get some of the shoes that I missed out on at the time. I didn't really fancy them at the time. I thought I wouldn't pay the full price, but I want to get them cheaper. Obviously, now they've been discontinued. I would like to get them somewhere and get a discount on them if I can. I also fancy getting a pair of tie-dye ones which match my rucksack and bum bag. Because my rucksack and bum bag came out. They were discontinued when I bought them. But they did do a pair of shoes to match not long before they discontinued the bag. And I've seen them occasionally, but very rarely. But there is a pair of tie-dyes that match that set. 
And I would love to get a pair that match that either against slip-ons or lace-ups. I'm not so fussed, but I want to get them at some point. And also, if I can, I wouldn't mind getting a pair of the festival ones in the other colours. I'm not such a fan of the white festivals, but I might get a pair of the red festivals to match the blacks. They're quite nice. But again, my black festivals, I wear them quite a lot. They are also starting to wear very slightly along the bottom. So again, it's one of the things I've got to be a bit careful of. I've got to rotate, wear other pairs more often or replace them. Um, luckily, as I said say earlier, luckily, <laughs> um, I have had a parcel come through today, of course. This parcel here. Um, so... That is, to be fair, quite restrained for me, but they're very nice actually. This is a pair of lace-ups, new condition. They're sort of like grey dots with a suede finish, which is quite nice. They've got like a leather finish on the inside here in a burgundy colour, matches the outside. Um, these are quite nice. So I saw these, these were dead cheap, I think, very cheap. The laces will be changed possibly, I'm not sure, if they're going to go with the green laces from that, I might try something else on them because they're grey and purple. I don't know. Maybe a purple lace or something like that. I'll see what I've got. And if I haven't got, I'll see what I can get in a set of Mr. Laces. That's replacing those. Um, I'm not sure I will ever get another pair of boots. I don't really think I need any more boots. I have seen another couple of pairs of shoes I'm still interested in, which will play two to replace those. That really is the state of Vans as it is at the moment. It is a collection. But it's a wearable one. It's like my watches. It's not something that I would collect, stick in the loft and never see. It's not something I'd stick on a rack somewhere for people to look at. It's something I wear. Something I like the look of. Something I really like. And yes, so when you see more, if you ever see more, I will wear them. It's not a case of sticking them away somewhere. So, thanks for watching and bye. Bye.